Tantra 2 by DS Audio is a multi effects plugin which you control by using a step modulation sequencer. This can result in going from this to this. In this video I will share you my thoughts about this plugin and of course after this video you will know how Tantra 2 sounds and works. Hi, I'm Marlon. So in a nutshell, DS Tantra 2 is a step sequencer based multi-effect. There are 9 effects in every control of every effect, and I literally mean every control, can be modulated with the step sequencer. You can assign the sequencer to the controls in two ways. First is to simply drag from one of the modulator slots here to any controller. On the controller press Ctrl right mouse or Command right mouse to set the amount of modulation going up or down. This works in the same way as with many modulation controllers these days. The second way is to click on matrix when you can click and select the right modulator and destination, so the dials of the effects. The depth goes from minus 100 to plus 100 just as with the command control right mouse click method. I prefer the drag and drop way because that is more intuitively. Now in the modulator, this is how DS Audio calls the step sequencer, you can easily create patterns. You are not limited to one pattern for all effects. You can have up to 8 patterns running who can all modulate the effect. So you can easily have one pattern modulate just one part of an effect and another one modulate a few effects like I did on these drums. The patterns can be step based or curve based. You switch between the two by pressing this button. It's not really clear to see which option you have chosen. This switch between step or curve can be set independently for each pattern. The number of steps can be adjusted easily and you can have the plugin sync to the tempo of the project or assign freely. There's smoothing, tension, gate, shuffle, tremolo and panning flip for each pattern separately. These 6 effects here on top all have a lot of control options and for instance the filter has 18 different filter models included and there are 4 overdrive alternatives plenty to choose from. I will not show you all possible combinations. Instead I will use the handy randomize function, which is available globally for the plugin and also per effect to showcase some sounds. So which sounds we will get will be just as big of a surprise for me as it will be for you. But first let's start off with some presets for this synth pad. And now let's randomize.
If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. This way you will stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Plenty of sounds, some better sounding than others, but you did get an idea of the very wide range of effects possible. The six effects here on top can be freely changed in their routing order here. The EQ and reverb on the bottom are fixed in their order. If you think that the amount of variation is still not enough, the plugin has an A and B layer with the exact same controls who work independently of each other. The balance between the A and B layer can be adjusted here, where you can choose to have them both parallel next to each other, or in serial where layer A feeds into B. I like this option to have an effect in the left and right channel, but to have them slightly different for a wider sound. You can dial that in easily with this plugin. There's no direct way to see in this window which pattern modulates which knob, which is a shame. I prefer the way like for instance Unfiltered Audio has done that, with little virtual cables going from a modulator to a knob, that is really clear. You can't see which dial gets modulated though in Tantra 2, and for that you need to open the matrix. Like I said before, I'm not really a fan of this matrix window, but at least you can see which modulations you have done and you must go into this tab to enable or disable certain routings. The main change from Tantra 1 to Tantra 2 is the graphical interface, and that is also why I have some issues with this plugin. I already mentioned the lack of visualization of which modulator goes to which dial. And for ease of use, I would like to see the option to simply drag and drop the effects to change their routing order, instead of having to do that here on top. A few plugins like the Sony Moose Sony Q2 or the Excite Audio Lifeline Expanse can do that, and it's a really more user-friendly and most of all, clear method. And I can do this on Windows and Cubase. Yeah, this is weird. Rescaling by dragging the corner doesn't work. The faders on the AB levels don't grab nicely. I'm brainwashed in grabbing the fader itself, and this one grabs difficult at times. Now you can change the fader by dragging up and down anywhere below the faders, but maybe increase the hitbox a bit. My opinion on Tantra 2 is this. I really like the amount of variety you can get with the modulation and the flexibility in adding very custom tailored effects in Tantra 2. I am not a fan of the actual way this plugin handles and that is mostly due to tiny quirks and general interface usability. This may seem like nitpicking, but if you want to use a plugin often and get results in a straightforward way, you don't want many quirks and little annoyances. I'm looking forward to seeing these interface issues I have being ironed out in future updates. The plugin on screen is a multi-effect which handles very nicely. I'll see you in that video.